Minneapolis, Minnesota, week 13 of the SFL is on the air and we are kicking it off in style. It is the 6-4 Louisiana Revolution from the East Division taking on the 7-3 Minnesota legend from the Central. And it looks like the offense actually back out on the field. We'll see if they want to snap this. I think this is a great call if they do. You might as well. You're trying for a good playoff spot. Offset eye. One to the left. They do snap it. That's a Colin Hart run. He's going to break a tackle but get taken down. And it's a turnover on downs. The Revs rev up. The defense gets off the field. Looking to throw it. Plenty of time in the pocket. A little sidearm throw. It's picked off over the middle. And it's brought back. And no completions to this point for Tommy Utah, including an interception over the middle of the field. That's a mistake that he definitely wants back. Derek Meerkat, the safety, came up to make that play. Eye formation. Heavy set eye. Hart again through the middle. Plenty of room as these offensive line did a great job opening that hole. First and 10 down to the 30. Eye formation. Opportunity knocking for Minnesota off the turnover. This will be a spin and a run down to the 10 to the 9-yard line. It's first and goal. Tank Bennett comes up with the tackle again, but Colin Hart really starting to find his groove here in halfway through this first quarter. On the backfield is Hart looking to throw it. Throws. End zone. One-handed grab, and that's a touchdown. It is Jay Taylor, the number one receiver for Minnesota, who gets them on the board for six. Under center. Ace look. Throws, and that one is picked off. Back the other way. Revolution have a return chance here. That is a down the sidelines run yeah, for Mike one. Ryan. How about it? Down to the three-yard line to the four is where they're going to give it to him at. But wow, what a run back. That's not Mike Ryan. That is 28 for Louisiana. Has the football. Backs it up. Looks. Moves up in the pocket. Throw. That is incomplete. And it is a three and out. Left hash, right foot. Looking at a 23-yarder from here. Snap is good, hold good, kick up and on the way, it is up. And it is a chip shot field goal for Otis Boudreau. Third and one coming. He's gonna play off a little bit. Right side caught, first down and more out to the 40, to the 39 and a massive clothesline. High formation, heavy set. Looking to throw out of it, put it in Colin Hart's hands. Trying to break a tackle, he's got a first down and out to the 28-yard line. One thing we haven't seen Minnesota do much. Helping out Johnny Reno to stick with that 88% completion rating. He has yeah. here tonight. He's been solid, no doubt. This will be Hart again. Has a block in front of him, trying to break a tackle first down and more into the red zone. To give his guys a chance to get in the end zone. Five wide, Reno backs up, moves up in the pocket, throws. That's a bullet and a first down, down to the one-yard line. What a grab. That is Tank Bennett with another big hit. Maybe get him involved a little bit to the outside. Reno under center. And off Kamasak, and he is in. That is a touchdown. The fullback gets the job done. And Minnesota taking what could be a 14-3 lead. Looking to throw it deep over the middle of the field. What a grab. What a throw right in stride. He's got five attempts on the ground. There's not a lot of success there. This is number six. He's going to try to get to the outside. Broken tackle. And he gets lit up with a Luthez press. Just past the 30 or just past the 27 to the... They'll give him the 27 there. It is a first down. He's trying to make a play. So is Utah and the rest of this Louisiana offense. Looking to play the ball on an out route. Stiff arm and a nasty play. Looking to come up here from the 15. Has the football. Backs it up. Looks to throw. Throws over the middle. Caught. Touchdown, Louisiana. Revolution find a way to put this in the end zone. Lyric Da Vinci. Yeah, super accurate throw, which it had to be as it was well within traffic. Chance for Otis Boudreaux, middle of the hatch marks for the extra point. Low snap, dangerous, and it's blocked. And that is going to be a failure on the extra point. This will Simons on that catch. First and 10 to 47. Throw again. This one is caught. Found the hole between the corner and the safety, and the linebacker, I should say. Third and seven. Got to get it to the 28-yard line for a first. 
Throw, caught, first down and more over the middle of the field, and they've got it in the red zone again. Another good-looking drive from Minnesota. This one's Jason France, his sixth catch. So this will be a chance on the right hash for Melillo. 30 yards officially. Snap is good, hold good, kick up and on the way. It is up, and it is through. So a 17-9 scoreline, still an eight-point game. Heavy set look. It looks like it's going to be either Collier or Squarebush. Instead, they'll throw. Put it in Squarebush's hands first down and more. On the third and short, they run the flat, and they get the first down they need past midfield. Looking to throw it. Five-step drop. Throws over the middle. Caught. First down and more inside the 35 to the 32-yard line. Looking to throw. Utah. Right side. That one is caught. Down to the five-yard line. I thought the defender had it for a moment. That was not the case. Lyric Da Vinci is all fired up at the five. Chris, if that was any other wide receiver, the defensive player probably would have gotten the ball there. But again, 6'5", 255, yeah, good luck to you. And can jump out of the gym. How were I? Square Bush again. Not going to get there. Minnesota stops him on the goal line. Fourth and goal and decision time here for the Revs. Otis Boudreaux from the left hash. He kicked an extra point earlier, attempted to, and it got blocked. We're going to try to get this one off from the one. Snap good, hold good. Kick up and on the way. It is up and it is through. Make this a five-point game. Another nickel look, it looks like, for Minnesota. Seven step. Oh, deep fly right side. It's caught. It's going to be a touchdown. House call for Lyric Da Vinci. 110 yards, two touchdowns. And there, he just catches the ball over, over. I believe that's Johnny Bravo there. He just catches the ball over him. I mean, it's just a beautiful, isn't it? now granted, beautiful pass there from Tommy Utah. Squarebush is the deep back here. He's going to get the handoff through the middle. There is a flag down. Louisiana looking to push it forward a little bit. That's a handoff. Trying to get there, not going to happen. Great tackle. Minnesota keeps everything in front of him. Fourth and three. Snap coming. Snap is good. Hold good. Kick is up and on the way. It is through. Reno is under center. Has the football. Backs it up. Looks. Oh, big hit right on the defensive line. That's going to back him up quite a bit. Four yards, and it's third and 14. This is desperation time for the legend. Looking to throw it. Over the middle. That one's caught. Can't get the first down. Fourth and three, but it's four down territory in my opinion. Here we go. Gun straight look. Three to the right, one to the left. Fourth and three. Minnesota's got to make it happen, and they give up the ball. Over the middle. That one is incomplete. It, no, they gave it to him. It is a catch. Sorry, they, they, they didn't stop right away. Either way, that is a first down. Minnesota keeps the ball and has it near the red zone. Second and six from the 22. Reno over the middle. That one is caught. First and goal down to the nine. He has heart with him. Looking to throw. Over the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Minnesota comes all the way down the field to take the lead right back. It's 23-22, and it's Jay Taylor. With 36 seconds left. Colin Hart is the back here. Do they run it? No. Reno throws oh, his way, that. though. Get to the outside, and he's in. Conversion successful. It's a two-point conversion, and it's a three-point game. Louisiana has 36 seconds to make something happen. Utah. Play action. Got to get it downfield. Throw right oh, side. It's it picked off. Go. And that is your ball game. Minnesota's going to walk away with a touchdown pick six for Johnny Bravo. And what the one handed variety right there. What a spinning catch from Johnny Bravo, as you mentioned, to make sure to put the last nail in the coffin. This game should be at this point. It should be done. And it'll be a chance for Utah left side tipped and intercepted. Maybe another one back the other way, but this one's not taken back to the house. That is going to be 
a another turnover for Utah, his fourth of the game. I honestly believe that this this to be true, the statement to be true. I don't know if I've ever seen a season where it's as tight as it as it is. I mean, you yeah. can see a team like Louisiana at seven and five and miss the playoffs.